today's video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 personal favorite features of the new Minecraft 1.17 update. Keep in mind that this is only my opinion and feel free to leave in the comment section down below what are some of your favorite features of 1.17. This update is about to come out in within a couple days now and I'm very excited. Without further ado, let's get started in today's video. On the number 10 spot, we have the spyglass. The spyglass is one of the most useful things that they did add in Minecraft 1.17. It's like the Optifine zoom feature, except it's in vanilla Minecraft. Not only that, but it also looks good. I love the texture and you could definitely see a lot more better with this over here. And they even made a new settings specifically for the spyglass. If you go over here, you guys can fiddle around with the spyglass damping over here, which is something that I did not really know about but I finally do and as you can tell it just makes the spyglass much more easier and useful to use so without a doubt the spyglass has to be one of my favorite features in Minecraft 1.17 because it's basically Optifine zoom in MCPE and this will be incredibly useful in not only regular survival but also in mini games as well hopefully they add this in like high sky wars but anyways guys that are pretty much it for the number 10 spot let's head on to the number 9 spot on the number 9 spot we have copper. Now most people tend to think that copper is pretty useless and it has no real purpose. However, um, thanks to a new video that recently came out by Mojang which I'll link in the description down below, it gave me a new perspective on copper and they basically mentioned how copper helps you tell a story in the game because copper is one of those blocks that actually ages over time. So look at this. That copper over there looks nice and fresh and, you know, young, but then it will be oxidized and then it will be old over here. So you can literally have it in different phases and it really does tell a story. So this would make like legit any type of Minecraft world better and it would give a history. It would genuinely give a history. Not to mention that I kind of do like the way copper looks like the copper looks absolutely insane. And uh, even the oxidizing blocks over here. So you guys can definitely use this to your advantage over here. Not to mention that the ore itself looks absolutely beautiful. And we also have a deep slated version of them as well. So bam, here's the regular copper and the, um, the deep slated copper over here. And one thing that I really like about the copper ore is that there's no way you can mistake it for um, iron because originally I thought I was going to mistake in copper for iron but you really can't because there's like blue textures over there so you know I really love the copper I feel like it's incredibly underrated and also they they did introduce new copper slabs and all that and all the different versions of the uh, oxidizing phase I believe that's how you say it so yeah bro they literally have it in every single phase and i just absolutely love that about this update over here they definitely put a lot of effort into it and bam we can see copper over there more copper and all that good stuff so once again i really like copper because it helps you tell a story in your world it gives your world history and that is why it's one of my most favorite features in minecraft 1.17 but anyways guys let's head on to the number eight spot Next up, I really like this new biome that was introduced to Minecraft 1.17 where it is basically a massive, massive cave over here. So I'm currently using night vision, so obviously we can still see stuff, but if we weren't using it, this will literally be pitch black. And first off, dude, do you see this? This is just absolutely insane. The amount of space there is in here, it is just absolutely insane. And the only reason why this is possible is, of course, because of the extended height limit. They did change it by like 100 blocks, I believe or something around there but yo this is really cool because there's even full on water in these caves over here like these caves are full on polished until I think there's a little bit of a glitch over there I'm not really too sure but look we even have multiple layers like we have one of the biggest bodies of water out there and also like these caves in general are massive they're huge oh, this is beautiful look look we like we get like a little lava a, like pocket over here and then it drips down to the water over here My, like man this is like the coolest thing ever and there's lime chunks as well what's there not to love but anyways guys that'll pretty much it for the number eight spot let's head on to the number seven spot next up for the number seven spot we have the glow squid now no i'm not trying to be funny i'm not trying to make it a meme or something but i genuinely think the glow squid is kind of cool and i just love the story behind it because it is just ridiculous man so many people got mad that it was the glow squid that got added instead of the ice allergy oh man good times good times but you know what the glow squid is pretty cool it's literally like a glowy squiddy thingamajiggy over here and i genuinely wanted this mob to be in it before the whole dream stuff happened i said it in one of my videos that i wanted the glow squid to win and it won so let's go this squid is cool take a look at that I, I i didn't realize this but the glow squid has particles as well and also because of the glow squid we do get some other cool stuff as well like the glow squid isn't completely useless guys trust me it's not useless um until it may look useless at first <laughs> I still don't, I, I, I definitely felt like the Ice Ollinger should have won, but hey, look, we got the glow squid. Anyways, here is the glow item frame where you can basically put stuff behind it, and I'm assuming it is a glowing item frame. 
Next up, we have a lynchin, a glowing lynchin, which is pretty cool. And of course, we do get a glow ink sack over here. So whenever you murder one of these squids over here, you will get one of these ink sacks. And that is just absolutely insane. So yeah, tell me in the comments down below, what would you have preferred, Ice Olager or Glow Squid? Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the number seven spot. Let's head on to the number six spot. Next up, we have the goats over here. I personally believe that the goats are one of the coolest mobs in MCPE because they literally jump incredibly high. I'm not too sure if we can actually get it on video over here, but the point is, these goats they jump incredibly high over here like that is just insane and also they do spit at you so um that just adds a bit more realism to it but i just love the goats because they just jump incredibly high i'm not too sure if you can see it right now I'm, you know what? i'm gonna spot like a bunch of them in over here and hopefully like one of them at least one of them jumps over here but yeah um i just love the goats they're also incredibly adorable as well and they have like those two little horns on top of them that you guys can actually use in order to get the goat horn which i'm i'm not really sure if it even serves a purpose but regardless i just love the goats uh, and who wouldn't but anyways guys let's head on to the next thing my other favorite features has to deal with powdered snow and more particularly the particles that um you actually do see when you are underneath powdered snow over here i personally think it is absolutely amazing over here and i just take a look at that look slowly we get the little overlay where it's like um like snowflakes or something i don't know it's hard to describe it but it looks amazing and i absolutely love it like you could definitely make some cool designs with it and i don't know it just looks amazing it's not something that you would normally expect and the fact that we have it in powdered snow as well is another cool thing. And even when we're poking our head out a little bit and we still have our legs in the powdered snow, we still get, we still do get that beautiful overlay that I know you guys absolutely love. And it slowly fades away. So it doesn't like instantly go away. It slowly fades away, which is honestly pretty cool. And I don't know about, I don't know about you, but I just think that's amazing. And next up, um, the powdered snow bucket, that's basically where it comes from. So I was able to get the powdered snow from here. So that's honestly pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the number five spot. Let's head on to the number four spot one of my other new favorite features is the underwater caves over here so as you can tell we are currently in a underwater cave and i just absolutely love it over here it goes incredibly deep and overall you definitely do get the feeling over here there's even some glow squids and all that so yeah literally you can find full-on caves whenever you are you know just swimming normally and that's just amazing and look here's even another one over here there's like little crevices everywhere and it honestly makes ocean exploration much more interesting as well and, and oh my god yep here we go here we go we finally found like a big actual ocean cave over here and they look absolutely insane so if you want to make like some underwater secret fortress thingy majiggy then i definitely recommend finding these underwater caves over here yo now you know like now traveling in this world i get so much inspiration to build stuff they have those vines that actually slightly glow so that's honestly pretty cool and um okay i take that back i think the glow squid actually does glow because you can clearly see it i just love the ocean caves they make ocean exploration much more interesting so tell me what you think about them in the comment section down below but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this spot let's go on to the next of my favorite features the number three spot we have amethyst i think amethyst are one of the most beautiful things that they did add at 1.17 because there hasn't really been that many things that are nice and bright purple but the amethyst is exactly that it is bright and it is purple over here so anyways i'm gonna be going through every single amethyst thing that this update does have to offer so so we get the amethyst block over here we get the budding amethyst over there which has like a nice little pattern to it then we have an amethyst cluster a large amethyst blood but oh i i apologize bud <laughs> i don't know why i included that l over there next up we have a medium amethyst bud and last but not least we have a small amethyst bud uh bud over there oh my god why do i keep messing up my words but um yeah i just love the way they look like they're honestly pretty cool and uh, i'm just gonna be placing a bunch of them down over here because i just think they look amazing they're absolutely beautiful and i just love the way the amethyst block looks like because of course um it's purple and there's not many like purple things in minecraft um if you know what i mean i just love the way it looks like because purple is a pretty cool color it's very underrated not gonna lie and um amethyst in real life they you know like it's kind of accurate you know it's pretty accurate i'm gonna post a picture of a real amethyst on the screen right now and um i mean minecraft it's pretty accurate and i just love the way amethyst looks like in real life as well because they just look amazing even though i never seen one but the fact that we have it in minecraft and that it's nice bright and purple is just absolutely insane but anyways guys that'll be much it for the number three spot let's head on to the number two spot on the number two spot we had the dripstone i personally think that the dripstone is one of the most underrated things that they did add in minecraft 1.17 over here so look i was in this underwater cave just exploring see if i could find something cool and i bumped into this um dripstone over here take a look at that there's like full-on shards that come in different sizes as well we have another one right over here which looks absolutely insane and personally i really do love it i think it's incredibly realistic as well 
and it definitely makes the caves look much more interesting and much more realistic as well and look we even have more of those shards over here so bam we got some more dripstone then bam more dripstone and some more over there so yeah i really do love this part about the update you know i just think it makes caving much more interesting and of course uh much more realistic as well because i'm pretty sure in actual caves these things do spawn and hey look we got some copper ore over there let's go but yeah, without a doubt, one of my most favorite things that they did add in Minecraft 1.17, and even the blocks up here, um, they may not look like much, but you can definitely incorporate them into like your builds and all that, and to make your builds look much more realistic. But anyways guys, that'll pretty much it for the number 2 spot, let's head on to the number 1, and my ultimate favorite feature of Minecraft 1.17. When it comes to Minecraft 1.17, I'm most excited for the Lush Caves, and in my hotbar, we have a bunch of items from the Lush Caves over here, starting with the Moss Block. The Moss Block is pretty cool. Next up we have the moss carpet, which can be found in the lush caves. Next up, we have the drip leaves. Drip leaves are kind of like bamboo, where you can stack them on each other right over here. I believe you can make like cool staircases with this, and I did not know this, but you can actually put them at an angle over here. It was literally at an angle. I have no idea how I did that, but um, yeah, this is really cool. Like this could literally be used as bamboo over there. Anyways, and oh, I just realized like every now and then it literally just goes down over there to an angle. That's that's really cool. Did not expect that. Next up, we have the small drip leaf where you have to place it on the moss block over here. And yo, this looks incredibly amazing. If you put like some gates over here and uh you know just you just steal it it could honestly make a very good plant i'm definitely gonna have to include one of those in my next houses that i do build in minecraft 1.17 but anyways next up we have the spore blossom over here so i'm gonna be placing down the spore blossom i believe it needs to go over here next up we have this spore blossom now the way this actually works is you have to place it um you know basically upside down of one of these moss blocks over here and it drops some like weird powder thingamajiggy over here but i just love the way it looks like it is a bright purple plant over there and i just love it it's a flower so yeah definitely one of the coolest things out there next up we have this weird thing over here that i honestly have no idea how to use but i still do think it looks pretty cool and next up we have um the same thing as that but instead with some flowers so honestly this looks incredibly aesthetic because it is legit my favorite biome i don't know like something about it it just looks so you know it looks so cool the fact that we get like a like basically a cave jungle in minecraft i don't know to me that's just so amazing and that is why it is my favorite feature in minecraft 1.17 I'd like to restate this once again that this is all my personal opinion. Feel free to make your own list in the comment section down below. I will be reading some of them. But anyways, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, French fries.